day to you all. Since this is my first video for 2026, I wish everybody a happy and healthy uh, year. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you the results of this circuit. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and build a voltage amplifier for the pulses that are coming out of my pulse generator. Um, it can go to 20 volts, but I want to go uh, for higher voltage because when we have a load over here or not indirectly coupled over here, then the higher the voltage, the more power that we should have over here or the higher frequency. So the first step is going to try and create something that is decent at one megahertz. And then we can see with the voltage what we are going to do in that direction. Uh, at the goal was when I started was the 100 volts, but at the moment I'm using the car battery over there for 12 volts. Uh, because then I am sure that I don't have any earth ground connection. Also, the signal generator is battery powered, so no earth ground connection on there. So this circuit is floating in reference to earth ground. Then you see over here, I have a pull up resistor. And uh, first I used higher values, but then was the problem that it took too long for the voltage to, to uh, rise again after the transistor switches off. So therefore, I need a lower value over here. But then, of course, we have the problem that it will heat up because we are using more current. Now there will be a next uh, setup where I'm going to use a coil, but I have to wait for parts uh, to be able and work on that system. So therefore, this video with first basic a resistor that is making the pulses after the switching of the 2N551. So the diet over here is uh, a Barkon clamp, as they call it. Uh, it will cause the transistor to faster switch off. Uh, but even without this one or this one over here, I only could get to around 20 kilohertz. So I watched some videos and asked AI some uh, advice. And um, there I learned two things. So um, over here, I have a PNP transistor and that will switch off uh, on when the moment when the, this transistor switches off, which means that the charge that is normally over here that keeps the transistor in conduction will be discharged by this transistor. So that's the function of this one. Now for the one N4148 diode, uh, I need to place five in parallel and every time I added one, it was better for the uh, pulse. So if you can see on the screen. So the blue trace is the pulse that is going to the one wire tank. And um, so the, the, the falling edge was not really a problem, but the starting edge, so the rising edge was a problem. So sometimes it came to there when the diodes were not there. So when I placed the extra diodes, the pulse gets wider and the steepness is going better. So that's the function of this diode, this transistor, and also this one. And then in a video I also saw that he uses uh, for the input signal a minus going uh, signal also to make it more, much more easier to redraw the the the, the the charge, excuse me, stored in the capacitor so that it switches off faster. So everything is done to make the switching faster. Um, and as you can see on the screen, so the yellow trays are the pulses coming from my signal generator. The blue trays are the signals that they are on the one wire line. So on this line over here. Then the dark blue trace is the earth ground current, which is measured over here. And then I also have a current measurement over here that is in my power supply, and that is the magenta trace. So when I now connect earth ground, so it is all switched on, I am at uh, 770 kilohertz which is the resonant frequency of this tank circuit over here. Um, due to the use of the, the three-phase capacitor bank, these two capacitors in series also have a value, so they come in parallel with this one. 
So you must keep in mind that the frequency goes a little bit lower than when you only use the 180 picofarad uh, capacitor. So when I now connect my earth ground, then you see the LEDs go, go on because I have resonance. And um, you see also that the current over here, so if you look at the settings, both channels of the current measurement are set to the same setting and the sensors both put out uh, approximately the same value for the same current at the same frequency. So um, as you can see the input current is lower than what is now going on in the earth ground current because this is my earth ground current, the, the dark blue. Also we saw a slight influence on the pulse the moment when I connect my earth ground. Now that is because we have a change in impedance um, and for that I will show you something. When I change my frequency out of resonance then you will see that the pulses disform completely and even disappear if the impedance is too far away from what is supposed to be. So when I go back to my resonant frequency you see that they come back and that the LEDs are on. So there is a situation where the impedance of this one is correct for the circuit. Now, at this point in time, I have no uh, idea how to uh, determine that impedance that I need to go for. Um, is it just enough to create resonance over here so that it is a high impedance and this one see, doesn't see a problem? Or are there other things? That is something I cannot answer at this point in time. So, um, excuse me, my paper was too low. Um, you can see over here, uh, when the impedance over here is too low or too high, uh, too low, I'm sure, too, too high, I'm not sure, uh, it will influence the, the, the line over here. So in the next circuit, I want to exclude the resistor because it's coming quite hot, of course, because of the current and the voltage going through it. And, and the current followed by the switching over here by the transistor. So uh, it will be replaced by a coil. Um, but then I have to use an extra diode over here to protect the transistor. And uh, also over here I need to search for another type because this one can only have, handle 100 volts. And the spikes will be go above 100 volts, so it's important. Um, the diode over here came from AI. Uh, I don't know this type of diet at this moment in time and I have ordered them. So uh, that's why I cannot show you experiments at this time uh, on this one. But as you can see it is possible for the three phase bank to create a higher current value in earth ground than what we put in if we work with the voltage pulses. Uh, and of course the higher the voltage pulses the more power we should have over here. Um, another uh, video I'm trying to make is uh, when I use a coil like this, I can also use a bigger capacitor. And according to calculations, uh, I should have also more power uh, over here. Uh, so that is also a question at this point in time that is not really answered uh, by experiment. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.